Miriam Fares, queen of Arab pop music, a triple threat woman who impacted Arab pop culture. The queen of the stage, as her fans call her, introduced performance art to the Mena stage, the art of singing and dancing all at the same time. She revolutionized the regional industry and took it to a new level. Since her early childhood, she was passionate about classic ballet and singing, which led her to participate in Studio El Fan, a Lebanese singing competition in 2001. In 2003, she debuted her chart topper studio album with the unforgettable single, Anuel Shaw. Her first album opened the doors for even greater success. With Miriam's fearless attitude, nothing could stop her. Her conversation-changing approach translated through music videos and her Billboard hits. Miriam has curated some of the most creative and interesting performance pieces out there and incorporated other people's talents into her own larger vision, which is part of what makes her such a genius. Miriam is known for taking creative control. She founded her own private label, Miriam Music, in 2010, under which she released her last two albums, she is considered one of the most watched Arab female singers online, with millions of views and streams. <laughs> Inclusivity is what the Lebanese singer is known for. She sings in her own dialect, Lebanese, as well as Egyptian, Moroccan, Iraqi, Saudi, Kuwaiti, Emirati, and even classic Arabic. <laughs> Her attention to detail is brought to life through the composition of rhythms and lyrics. <laughs> Miriam puts an enormous amount of effort into her performances, showcasing her talents as a singer, actor and dancer in all her music videos. With her signature style and moves to rock the audience every time, she spends months in her own dance studio creating choreography for her videos and concerts to give her fans an experience of a lifetime. Being called Queen of the Stage isn't a coincidence. Miriam has completely changed the stage scene in the Arab world. Whether you are in the audience of Miriam's concerts or you just watch her on TV shows, it's likely you found yourself wrapped by the entertainer's electrifying talent. Her passion for music and dance is clearly shown in her live performances. Her stage always shows different Arab cultures, as well as cultures outside the Arab world. With magical shows, music and online presence, her fans have found a new craving for her art that inspires them and shows off Miriam's passion and talent. Miriam has taken the night away with awards and nominations throughout her career. Her success is always celebrated by her fans everywhere and sparks dance challenges across the world. Oh, oh. It's just so good. Miriam inspires dance studios across the world to create amazing choreography using her songs inspiring talented fans to create their own covers. Unfortunately, some covers were taken too far. Her songs have been replicated by singers from around the world. Her hit song, Wahashni A, has been replicated by seven singers from seven different countries. Miriam's popularity has increased significantly. On top of being the most dominated force in Arab pop music, Miriam is a style icon. Her signature curly hair and unique style made her a brand. She appeared in her first commercial ad with Sunsilk, featuring Madonna and Marilyn Monroe. Later, she became a new face of international brands like Wella, Red Tag, Fendi, Lazerdi, and many more. Miriam's fashion taste is absolute glamour. 
She collaborates with designers who embrace the confident, sexy looks that she loves. In 2014, Miriam's journey was extended to Disney's Peter Pan the Musical, a show that featured 50 dancers, stuntmen, acrobats, musicians and actors from over 10 countries. She was chosen to play the role of Tinkerbell and to perform You Raise Me Up live. In the same year, Miriam and Flo Rida released an Arabic version of the 2011 hit Wild Ones, which got millions of views on streaming platforms. She also became a Google ambassador after topping the search engine results in the MENA region. It didn't stop there. After the success of her first big screen appearance in Selena in 2009, a remake of the famous play Harla and the King, in 2010, she starred in her own Ramadan show, Fawazia Miriam. Fawazia is an old beloved Egyptian tradition that started in 1960. Fawazir Miriam was a celebration of collective creativity. Over 400 costume designs, 60 set designs, 30 traditional dances, endless storyboard designs, all of it was brought together in less than 50 days. Only 50 days to learn and master traditional dances like Andalusi dance, belly dance of all kinds, Debka, Indian, Disco, Kankan, Samba, all dances and sketches you can imagine. Her acting also came into play. In 2014, she made her debut on the TV soap opera Litham. It was the most watched TV series in Ramadan of 2014. In 2018, Miriam experienced a very complicated medical condition, which took her away from the screens and stages for a while. And until now, she never revealed the full story of her suffering. The star has released a total of five studio albums, and now we wait in anticipation for the 3rd of June for the announcement of her sixth album on her first Netflix documentary. A documentary about her second pregnancy and how she managed life and the preparation for her album during COVID-19. This will be the first ever Netflix documentary to be based on an Arab artist, titled Miriam Fares, The Journey.